<laughs> I call Claire Curran. Five minutes. Thank you, Just Mr Chair. Well, if you've been listening to the debate in, in this estimates debate tonight, you will have heard, you would, you would think that there were parallel universes being described. And if you believe this government, then everything's rosy. We've never had it so good, it's like Nirvana. Well, it's, it's like they're living in cloud cuckoo land. It's like the emperor with no clothes, King Canute and Pollyanna with Road Runner running through and, um, and, and living in this parallel universe in cloud cuckoo land. The real story needs to be told, Mr Chair, and the real story is no fairy tale. There are too many people in this country living in Struggle Street. There are too many who are doing it really tough. This is a government that's pretending. They're pretending that there's no housing crisis while people can't find affordable housing, let alone a afford to buy. They're trying to sell off state housing while our children, while children are getting sick and frail people are getting sick and some of them are even dying because their state houses are too cold and damp. They're pretending that there's no problems with our economy while dairy prices are plummeting, while our regions are suffering, while small business are struggling and just keeping their heads above water. They're pretending, Mr Chair, they're not being straight with the country. They're out of touch. There's mismanagement. Um, there's waste. There's looking after their mates. Corporate welfare has become an everyday phrase in this country, whether they're being bailed out, Sky City, Rio Tinto, Chorus, Media Works, Saudi sheep farms, Oroveda, being bailed out, handouts, while the everyday Kiwis get overlooked and squeezed. Wasteful government, wasteful and mismanagement. There's enormous waste in spending. $26 million on a flag referendum and while our kids are getting sick and sometimes even dying in our state houses. Mr. Mr. Chair, the real story in our regions is of neglect, and regional, uh, regional development is built on strong regional infrastructure. And we've heard tonight about the mismanagement and the lack of, uh, of the squeeze and neglect that's happening in, New in regional New Zealand in our roading network. In the Clutha district, Mr Chair, there, is 200, there are 260 bridges, 260 bridges and bridge culverts. The Clutha district is struggling to keep up with its road, to maintain its road networks. It, those, they do not have the money to spend on re repairing those bridges and those bridge culverts while there's no, because there's no money to fix them, because there's no money that's been allocated in the budget to do that. They weren't built for 10-ton milk trucks. They, it, they're struggling to even get fire engines over many of those bridges. There is a real problem in regional New Zealand it, it, with a lot of our roading, with a lot of our bridges. But the real story, Mr Speaker, is the story of rural broadband which needs to be told. Some of the colleagues in the House tonight have touched on this issue. This is a, this is a story of absolute uh, of negligence and it is a story that is, key, is, is unfolding. $300 million in 2010 was promised. 250, a uh, quarter of a million rural households were promised faster internet. Five years later, the money's been spent, but who's benefit? Well, it's not the people in rural New Zealand. It's not the small businesses. It's hardly any households. Vodafone and Chorus have benefited. But what about the people? In a, in a study that was done last year in uh, rural New Zealand, 70% surveyed of small businesses and households said they felt extremely frustrated, left behind, and like second-class citizens. This is a grave misuse of government funding. Mr Chair, $60 million spent, 8,500 connections to show for it, 
millions of dollars being, being handed to Chorus to upgrade cabinets, no accountability on improvement in connections on the copper network or new connections on fibre, millions of dollars to Vodafone to upgrade and build new cell towers, and what analysis Order. has been done? None.